Welcome to Form with Drilling Engineering. During drilling operations kilometers deep into the earth, there's always the possibility that you can unexpectedly heat hydrocarbons. This can be crude oil or even natural gas. And the worst that can happen is you end up with a blowout. And the whole drilling rig burns down and everything explodes and so on. Of course, that must be avoided under any circumstances. The good news, however, is no blowout just happens from anywhere. Before each blowout, there's an earlier stage which is called a kick. A kick is when something enters a borehole from the surrounding formation or rock during drilling. You can also call it an influx. Of course, a kick in the borehole is quite dangerous and needs to be detected. For this purpose, there are different kind of detection systems. For example, kick detection can be performed by always checking very carefully how much drilling mud is pumped into the borehole and how much drilling mud comes out, out of the borehole on the other side. The amount of mud which goes in the borehole can easily be determined by counting the mud strokes per minute. And from this we calculate the flow rate that goes into the borehole. The amount of mud that comes out of the borehole is determined by using what we call a mud paddle. The paddle hangs across the flow in the mud return line and the greater the flow rate, the further the paddle is deflected to the side. Of course, these measurements are not particularly accurate. But if you constantly monitor both measured values, both run approximately parallel. And then everything doesn't look so bad at first. Everything seems to be fine. However, if the curves suddenly fail to continue running in parallel, for example, indicating more flow is coming out of the borehole that was pumped into it, then it's time to think about whether everything is still okay. In any case, there's an alarm when the level in the mud tanks is no longer constant, but rather is increasing. So, if we are still not sure if there's a kick in our borehole, then we have to do a test. This test is called a flow check. For a flow check, you turn off the mud pumps so that no more drilling mud goes into the borehole, and then you wait and see what happens. If no mud comes out of the borehole when the pump is switched off, then everything is fine. It was probably a false alarm. But if the mud pump is switched off and the mud is to come in out of the borehole, then we know we have a kick in the system. And this kick will now slowly rise up in the borehole. If it's a gas kick, it may even expand and get bigger on its way up. This is why it's important to detect such a kick as early as possible. The earlier the kick is recognized, the easier measures can be taken to safely remove it from the borehole, then of course, a blowout cannot occur and the situation will not become dangerous. For this purpose, to assess the situation and to react, there is a two pusher and a driller on every rig. These two experts are always ready to react and are regularly trained in the drilling schools around the world. At regular intervals of perhaps two years or so, they practice on highly sophisticated drilling simulators on how to react on all kinds of situations. And when they pass exams, they can wear proudly their IWCA certificate on their coveralls. Unfortunately, we don't have such a nice drilling simulator at our institute here in Freiburg. But of course, we cover the topic of well control in details in our lecture drilling engineering one. Anybody who's interested is very welcome to join us and partake in it. We look forward to seeing you. Look off.